Hey everybody, uh, we're the founders of Ready Tactical LLC. My name is James Bowler, and this is my partner. Andrew Wickerham, but as you all know, everybody calls me Wick. And Nate Bowler. You know, when I was pretty young, uh, my father would take me out shooting, and uh, I really enjoyed it. We'd go hunt squirrels, that was my favorite thing to do. Uh, but the real, the real intro into it was uh, after I joined the Army, um, I went through all that training, you know, the M16s, the M4s, got to shoot automatic weapons, do all that stuff, and it uh, really introduced me into the world that was really out there. Um, and the, what really cemented it was when I went to Iraq, um, the assignment I had, uh, we were protecting high-ranking officials as they moved between uh, the different FOBs um, in Iraq, and the training that we got for that, it was very dynamic, a lot of movement, and a lot of things that I hadn't seen before. And that uh, is what started the gears really going in my mind. Um, and then when we, uh, when I got back, I got hooked up with Nate and Wick here, and uh, it's been, it's been go ever since. Starting at a young age of five is when my dad got me shooting, and then from there I progressively started doing uh, just decimal target type shooting, which uh, took me all the way to the age of seven, all the way to 13, and started shooting competition all the way from there. Then joined the Marine Corps at that, Ended up doing some some of the greatest training in the world and that some people never, ever, ever get to do. Took that opportunity and turned it into something even better than what I actually anticipated. And that turned out to be uh, doing CQM, uh, CQB instructor, and even a combat instructor. Along with doing uh, maritime special purpose force type of operations, which progressively built into a more of a love for surgical shooting. So I decided to take this opportunity with my knowledge and go contract. And from there, ended up earning uh, federal law enforcement training instructor certifications. Started working contract for the State Department. And next thing you know, uh, contracts were rolling slow. Had a friend that said, hey, there's uh, sportsmen over here. They need some help. These two guys here, they uh, saw my resume at first and asked, hey, can you think it's out shooting? After that, it turned into, uh, hey, we want to have a sit down with you and talk some stuff over. This is Nate Bowler. Um, this all started for me years ago. My, uh, my father took me out shooting when I was very young um, and loved it, fell in love with it from there. Uh, hunted a lot, a lot of different, uh, different big game hunting, small game hunting, stuff like that. Um, never been in the military, never, uh, never been on that side of the industry, but uh, been in the retail side of it for uh, for quite a while now, quite a few years, and it, it became painfully obvious to me that a lot of people are out there buying guns and, and buying this equipment, but they have no idea what they're doing with it or, or what, what that equipment is capable of. Um, and so when the opportunity presented itself with, uh, with Wick and James here, we, uh, we threw together Ready Tactical LLC and we've been... Uh, We've been doing what we can to uh, to teach everybody to maximize the potential of the equipment they've got and go from there. And it's it's been a blast, having the time of my life. Well, I love that uh, it gives me an excuse at least every other week to get out and uh, cook a few rounds off. If there's ammo. If, 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 there's, if ammo. there's ammo. <laughs> yeah, that's. The, uh, it's kind of amazing how much stress relief you get when you go out shooting. Yes, it is. Yeah. It's therapeutic in a lot of ways. Yeah. But it's also good to. Uh, to be able to teach other people that that are new to it all. I mean, we're getting a lot of people in the store that have never, they're buying their first gun, they want to shoot, they want to learn how to use it, but they have no concept of what what that entails. And to be able to take somebody like that and mold them into somebody who is proficient with that firearm and is confident with that firearm and is safer because of that firearm is, is quite rewarding to me. I just like it just because of the uh, ideology that I have and the methodology behind the concepts of being ready to fight and being aware and just knowing that some people were put on this planet for a purpose. Just watching people just walk away with smiles on their faces saying, you know what, that was some of the best information I've ever gotten. And uh, I didn't even know half of that stuff even existed. I really like the team we've got here, the instructor team we've got up here, and our, and our adjuncts as well. It's, um, it's a passion we've got for teaching people and giving them that knowledge. I've, I've seen some of the other firearms instructors, and it really it bothers me that someone wants to go out there and teach people how to use firearms when they're not even fit to fight. Like, you look at these guys, they can't even run 50 meters. Um, I wanted to be with a team that I knew could practice what they preach. And so that's why I'm, I'm 
glad to be with Wick, Nate, and our other adjuncts that actually can do, they're actually fit to fight. What are our favorite courses with Ready Tactical LLC? Nate, what do you think? Um, if I had to choose, I would, I would probably have to go with Pistol 2. Um, the reason for that is, I mean, I, I absolutely love the more advanced ones with the, with the carbines and stuff like that, but it's kind of impractical to carry a carbine with me every day. So... <laughs> you mean it doesn't fit in your pocket? No, no, it doesn't. Ooh, taken. Oh, so, okay. so adding on, on top of our, our scenario shoots and the CCW classes and everything like that, once people have decided what they're going to carry handgun-wise, we, we take them from that level and educate them through, I mean, obviously handgun one, two, and three, to where they're absolutely proficient and comfortable with that. And it's, it's quite rewarding because that's, in my mind, the, the firearm that they're gonna, they're gonna be using the most, that they're gonna be practicing the most. They're gonna, they're gonna have it on them all the time. And so they need to be proficient with it. And that's, that's why I like that one myself. All right, but uh, if any of them might actually have to go with the uh, Urban War Fighter Series. And, you know, <clears throat> The blanket statement with that would just have been between the breachers, the DDM, uh, PSDs, and then just the basic wraparound with the carbine and the pistol. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, yeah, so what, maybe my hands get a little bit big, but maybe I'm not trying to be as modest, but the, the knowledge that I'm, I want to share, that I'm willing to share, is just vast beyond anybody's actual thought process. Especially when you guys are like, I don't know shoot under your truck that's kind of dude hey it's gonna happen <laughs> just don't shoot it please that's all I, ask. <laughs> I need to drive out of here especially with the leaky gas tank mm, um, yeah, mm. but the whole basis of taking the actual realism of what's out there I mean the houses the walls vehicles stores people and then just being able to collaborate that all in the one and then just show this is what's gonna happen this is what you need to expect and even if it's not just with the pistol or even with the carbine, even the nighttime, mm -hmm. my biggest pet peeve is just trying to enforce people, hey, you need to fight at night because that's when uh, the bad guys come out. Yep. If you ain't been able to work with a light system or even shoot in the dark, then you're really no good to yourself. You're just a hinder on society. That's why you just need to practice, train, and just build up from there. I love the defensive scenario training. Um, I love taking people out to the range and walking through different everyday scenarios that people encounter and showing them the strategies that they can use to avoid encounters and survive an, an encounter if it, if it does occur. And I, I love seeing the looks on our students' faces at the end of the day when they go from you know, having barely touched a pistol to knowing now how to shoot from a vehicle, being able to shoot you know, in close quarters. And I mean, it works hand in hand with CCW. Um, you know, you get your CCW, you can carry a pistol, but the defensive scenario is what really cements um, the attitude and the mindset that you need to survive and to do um, and to do the right thing in the real world. The number one thing that I, I want my students to take away is, first off, I want them to have a shock and awe value when they come to see me. I just want them to be scared, and all of a sudden they're just like, you know what, this guy is not that bad. But, besides all that, the number one thing is that they never quit, they never give up, never surrender, they never die. They need to stay in the fight till the end. And, yeah, it kind of sounds like a, a, you know, a crazy thing to say, but it's whenever you're confronted with a threat, you just don't back down from it. You just... You keep going, and when you present a threat back to them, they will back down faster than you will. Well, the number one thing I would want my student to leave with would be, uh, would be confidence, especially if it was a, a first-time student, someone that's, uh, that's out shooting for the first time or owning a firearm for the first time. Um, they need to be confident with their ability with that firearm, otherwise it's, it's not going to do them any good. Um, and so to, to instill the kind of the principles that Wick's talking about to where they, they don't give up, they've, they've got the confidence between their, their mental state now and their ability with that firearm, um, they should be unstoppable. They'll be, they'll be able to defend themselves, defend their loved ones, defend their family, um, and defend their homes. And that's, that's what we're shooting for. The number one thing I want my students to walk away with is the understanding that you need to train as you fight because you will fight as, as you were trained. So if you are taking shortcuts, if you 
you know, you don't go that extra mile, it'll cost you in the end. Sloppy draws. Uh, yeah, sloppy draws. Um, just taking the lazy way out. Oh, I don't want to lay down on the ground. It's dirty. Or, hey, I don't want to shoot from behind a barricade. It's hard. That's the stuff that could get you killed later. So um, you need to have that that attitude of I'm never going to give up. You need to have that confidence, and you need to take that and bundle it up and train to the to the best of your ability. Um, a lot of people they go out and they have guns, and they think just because they have one that they are good to go. They're safe. They're they're just fine. And it's it's when that alarm goes off in the middle of the night, or you hear that crashing window, that you're going to realize how little you know. So. Definitely they need to learn that they have to train as they fight. All right, everybody. Basically, it, uh, it boils down to this. Your life is your responsibility. Um, you, are, you are solely responsible for protecting yourself and your loved ones. Um, the average police response time is eight minutes. That's real great. But if you look at your clock right now and start counting down eight minutes, there's a whole lot that can happen in that time. Um, it, would be, it would be tragic if uh, if you weren't ready to uh, to stop any threat that, that tried to threaten you or or your family in that time um, so the best thing to do is to to get trained become confident have the have the proper mindset because we live in a world where there are evil people and uh, they do evil things and to protect you and yours there's steps that you need to take the last thing that you need to do is just think that it ain't gonna happen to you because it, it could it might it probably will that's why if you are given the right to defend yourself and if you do have a CCW, carry your firearm. Carry yourself to defend yourself, to defend your family. Just because it's like, oh, you know, it's a nice day. Nothing's going to happen. That's when it does happen. Don't, let, don't be the one that is going to be winding up on the news because there was nothing you can do. So come out, you know, send us an email, uh, give us a call. Um, We'd love to get to know you and, and um, provide you the training that, that you need. So give us a thumbs up, like us on Facebook, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and uh, write, leave us a comment. We'd love to get in touch with you. Guys, CCW is where to start. Get the mindset. Start out there. We'll put you in the place that you need to be. And then from there, we can build you into what we want you to be, an actual gunfighter, a defender, a protector.